hello. Lord, honey, I've got to take my shades in to make sure it's recording. Hello, 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 y'all. It's finally here, and I can't talk about it or I'm going to get emotional, but it's finally time for Tyler Ramey to take yet another solo trip to New York City. It is, uh, what is today? Saturday, and I am driving to Asheville, North Carolina. I'm going to spend the night in a hotel and then get up super early. My flight is at 7 a.m. from Asheville, and then I should be in New York City by like 9 30 10 a.m. tomorrow so I'll have all day tomorrow Sunday I'll have all day Monday Tuesday Wednesday come home Thursday and I'm thrilled my brain needs a detox my soul needs a refresh my stomach needs a Korean corn dog um, I mean, New York is calling and I must go what can I tell you uh, it's my homeland it's my happy place it's my adventure it's my everything and I love it so I am staying in an Airbnb um, it's gonna be very cute I will definitely show you I'm gonna try to vlog daily I started a vlog today just because I knew that when I get to Asheville I'm gonna be going to World Market TJ Maxx and probably Target and I'll probably end up doing a haul for you all and I do want to show you the hotel room in Asheville and all that stuff so um, honey it's going to be a Tyler Ramey trip what I'm going to really really try is to not fall off the vlogging bandwagon I always do so good and I vlog so well for the first couple days and then I lose interest in vlogging because I just get so in in intertwined with the city and sometimes I don't want to have my camera or my phone out I don't want to be recording because I kind of want to live in the moment but I'm really gonna try even if they're short to vlog every single day to show you as much as I can and to kind of tell you I've never really broken it down in terms of what I do to make it as inexpensive as possible and I'm gonna try to show you that on these vlogs because honey now more than ever it's important to pinch a penny so I'm gonna try to tell you my tips and tricks that I do to make it a little bit less expensive. Um, I'm not bougie when it comes to eating out, and so I, that's why I personally love going uh, by myself to New York, because honey, I am literally just as content with a $3 corn dog with a $1 slice of pizza, um, with cheap street food as I am a hundred dollar meal I mean you can you can easily go to New York City and throw down a hundred dollars per person for a nice meal and I don't mind to do that with people who have never been to New York and if they all want to go eat it's the experience I get that I totally get it but when it's a solo trip honey I'm going to eat cheap because I'm a cheap date and that's about it. I will also take this opportunity. I know I've said this many times, but it's worth repeating. It doesn't have to be New York City. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. I would highly recommend, if you have never traveled alone, to do so. It has been one of the single most changing things in my life as an adult, is to go places by myself and figure it out. You can do what you want, when you want, what you want and that's I, I just love that <laughs> of course I love going with people of course I love going places with people but there's just something about when you're by yourself and you don't have to check in and you don't have to worry about if people are having a good time or if they want to be here or do they want to go here or maybe they want to go here well this person doesn't want to go here so maybe we should go here it, that's too much for me sometimes and I just need it to be Tyler Ramey because honey I love hanging out with Tyler Ramey because he knows exactly what he wants to do. So it's just more casual. I just love it. Not a lot of people like to walk as much as I do because honey, in New York City, if I'm gonna be there, I wanna walk all day, every day. I like to get up in the morning and run in Central Park and then walk everywhere. And so by the end of the time, I've, by the end of the day rather, I've usually done anywhere between 10 and 18 miles of just So, I really have no set agenda for this trip, which is super exciting for me. 
I the only thing I have set in stone is that I'm going to see Jurassic World Dominion um, on Tuesday at one of the biggest IMAXs in the country, which is conveniently located in New York City, so I am thrilled for that. Uh, that's at noon on Tuesday, so that's the only thing that I have set in stone. I don't have any shows that I'm going to see. What I'm going to try to do is see if I can get some cheap same-day tickets um, from the TKTS booth, which is in Times Square. You can also look on the TKTS app. You cannot purchase them on the app. You have to purchase them in person at Times Square, but you can download the TKTS booth and see what's playing. So. Uh, this vlog series will also be hopefully particularly helpful for Amy at Away Girl because I know she is planning a trip. I think they're going in, I want to say October. I might be wrong about that. At any rate, hopefully this will be helpful. So I'm just going to take y'all along and it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. It's going to be fattening. Um, I'm going to try to find a hot yoga studio. I found one last time that I was not impressed with in the slightest. So I'm hoping that I can find a better one. Um, and I'm just thrilled. So I will check back in with you guys when I get to Asheville. Like I said, there's some really good shops there. I was gonna eat at Ruby Tuesdays, but I don't know if I wanna go in and eat by myself. So I may just pick up like Zaxby's if it's nearby and take it to the hotel and just kinda chill later. It is 419 and that gives me plenty of time to shop, eat, digest, go to sleep, get up, and go to New York City. Okay, if I buy anything, which, hello, you know I will. If I buy anything at the stores in Asheville, I will come back. Um, at the very least, I'll show you the hotel room. So anyway, we'll be right back. Honey, we're back, and I've got to make this somewhat quick because I've got ice cream, and I need to get it in the hotel. So once we get in the hotel, I'll show you my salad because, honey, it looks delicious. Um, I got from Marshall's this giant faux Barefoot Dreams uh, blanket or pillow. I have lots of the faux Barefoot Dreams blankets from Sam's, and I also have this brand, which is um, Cupcakes and Cashmere, which makes like the Barefoot Dreams dupes. Honey, this big pillow was only $19. And it matches the big uh, queen size faux Barefoot Dreams blanket that's on my couch. So now I have the matching pillow to go with the couch. So I'm super excited about that. Let me put this back in here, because honey, it's a big honker. Also from Marshalls, I got this completely on a whim as I was waiting to check out. It is a men's bracelet and it's stretchy and it's got, I love brown and blue together and it's got like the volcano ash type stone and then there's one random silver stone up here and these really pretty blue ones. So it was $12.99, honey. When I tell you it was a complete impulse buy, I mean that with everything in me. But look how cute. I'll show it to you when I get it out of the box in the room. I picked up some of the Starbucks V Instant Dark Roast Coffee. You get eight packets. I don't know what my coffee situation is going to be in the Airbnb. I like to do coffee before I get going. I don't care to go to Starbucks, um, but I would rather just do it in the room. So if they have a microwave, um, I'm just going to use that and get some creamer when I get there. So, and if not, I'll use it later. And then this was a just complete 100% impulse buy. Honey, I got some Pop-Tart boxer briefs. How cute will those be? I love lounging around in boxer briefs and a big oversized sweatshirt. So honey, these are perfect. They were $5. I'm actually gonna bring all this in. I'm not bringing the pillow in, it can stay. And then honey, at the Target, all I got was a bag of the Smart Pop popcorn, Skinny Pop, sorry. Um, they are 100 calorie bags and you get six bags. So I got a bag of that. Um, I've got my Halo Top ice cream, which is quickly melting. It's in birthday cake, one of my favorite flavors. This is what I'm eating tonight for my dessert. And then I got a pair of $20. These are just the Target brand of their running shorts. I super love them and they had a really cute gray camo. I'm very specific. I will only wear these when I walk. I love to walk in these. So I have two pair now, I have three pair. And I did get these in a medium because my large are now so big that I have to tie them way tight. So I got them in the medium. Hopefully they won't be too shorty short, but honey, even if they are, enjoy the show. Okay, I don't need to take that in. And I am gonna take this in. So this can stay. I'm trying to get situated here, y'all. 
and then get inside. Um, I'm gonna take a couple bags of popcorn, put those in my bag to take in, put my drink in there, put my ice cream in there. It's melting, I've got to go. Um, was that all I had to show you? Oh, I also picked up a Body Armor Light. This is my favorite obsession in Tropical Coconut. I prefer these now to my uh, Gatorade Light. So, I mean, that's the long and short of it. And I'll check back in with you when we get checked into the room and I'll show you my salad. Honey, here we are. You're a little dirty. There we go. Honey, there's nothing much to see. It's just a basic little room here in the Asheville, North Carolina. I'm debating on whether I want to do a mukbang. Probably won't, <laughs> but I've got a salad from Ruby Tuesdays. Honey, here I am. These are the same shorts I was telling you about from Target. Can't believe I had them on. My shirt says Tennessee Pride, honey. That was a Walmart special for like $6. Um, bathroom. Honey, I've got a little tub. I can take a shower. The lights in here are always so nice. And doesn't this shirt work great with my skin tone? Y'all, it's been a minute since I've freshened up, so I'm gonna get off here. But I just wanted to show you this, and I'll check back in with you later. Honey, it's, Lord, I looked at my watch and I had already put it on the charger. It's 10 o'clock, and I'm about to hit the hay. I'm in my Walmart nightgown with my random animals and sunglasses. And um, we'll be leaving bright and early. Honey, my alarm's set for 5.40. I'm watching Angela Bright. I watch her every night. Angela Bright ASMR helps me go to sleep. So um, I just realized, oh my gosh, I didn't finish up the vlog. So I'm going to try to get this uploaded before I go to bed. Um, and then the next video that you will see will be my first full day in New York. So I will start vlogging tomorrow morning, take you through the process of the flight, getting on the train from EWR, which is in Newark, New Jersey. It's where my plane lands. And then it's a 30 minute train ride into the city. I'm supposed to be seeing my friend Susan tomorrow, who's randomly gonna be there at the same time. So we talked about getting bikes. It looks like it's gonna rain though, but she wants to go to Chinatown, which I'm the Chinatown expert. Um, but yes, I will, I will check in with you in the morning. I'm looking rough. Let's wrap this up, shall we? I love you. I mean it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you tomorrow for our New York adventure, day one.